Welcome back. Add-ons can aid your WoW experience immensely, often literally making World of Warcraft a more fun game by improving its controls, its readability, and its functionality. The thing is, though, there's thousands of them out there. So, after a whole bunch of research, we have got our big list of recommended add-ons for Shadowlands, and we're even throwing in, as an extra bonus, a few weak auras that are both really easy to use and, uh, I mean, man, total game changers. They're so cool. So, I hope you find today's video useful, just like how I have found Dashlane, today's sponsor, to be an amazing add-on to my internet experience. And you'll get 10% off at dashlane.com forward slash bellular. So, the deal there is Dashlane generates a high security password for each and every website that you use. It then automatically logs you into those sites through your extensions, meaning you've never got to manually type in passwords again. It's awesome. It even works on phones. So it gives you security and it gives you convenience. Now, your information is locally, locally decrypted using your master password. And that means that even if Dashlane themselves were hacked, well, it actually wouldn't matter because it would be like breaking into a bank and finding out the bank doesn't actually have the key to the vault. They've also, by the way, got dark web monitoring, they've got a VPN, and if you use a site that gets hacked, they'll actually send you a notification, a security alert, letting you know to change your passwords. You get all that on one app across all your different platforms, and if you follow my link and use the promo code Bellular, you will get 10% off. A big thanks to Dashlane for supporting this video, and with that said, let's go and let's get into these World of Warcraft add-ons. We're going to kick it off with general add-ons. There's one that's obvious, Elf UI. It is the basis of so many UIs, including the one that we developed for the Shadowlands expansion. If you'd like more information on that, then check out our UI video for more. It replaces what would otherwise be near dozens of other add-ons, so it's great. But that said, if you would rather not use Elf and you'd rather do it yourself, customized, well, you could use Bartender or Dominoes, then you could use Shadowed Unit Frames, Plater, and Bagnon or Adibags. Now moving on, weak auras. It is one of the most important things that you can get comfortable with in World of Warcraft these days. There are dozens, more than dozens, of extremely useful weak auras, some of which we will go into later on in this video. But for now, install weak auras, grab some community ones from wago, w -A -G -O, dot io, and go to town. Uh, you can actually, like as an example, remove your action bars and buff tracking by using an all-in-one weak aura, like the ones made by Luxthros, Afinar, or Preach. It's what I do personally. Then there's another one that's really awesome. It's called Ultimate Mouse Cursor. It's a weak aura that adds three circles to your mouse cursor. One of those will track cast time. The other one will track the global cooldown. And there's one that's always there so that you don't lose your mouse cursor in combat. Pretty nifty, eh? Okay, moving on past weak ores, we have got rotation helpers, and we think that, I think it's called Hikili, but we think it's the best and most supported one that is up to date. Now, it basically will just tell you what button to press next based on the priority. Many players do not like this, I do not like this, but a lot of people are also into these, and uh, yeah, I think this is the most solid one. Another great add-on is Opie. This is a huge favorite. It creates radial rings activated with the press of a keybind. So you hold your keybind, you move your mouse to get a slice of the pie, and uh, then it will just do whatever you selected. And I find that this is a perfect place to just throw in my various utility keybinds. I throw them on an Opie ring, and there you go. It cleans up my bars great. Another one is Implied Target. This is an old add-on that doesn't see updates, but it still works. Basically, it removes the need for mouse over macros entirely by hijacking the target for each button pressed. And basically, this means, in reality, that you can have mouse over by default gameplay instead of having to replace every single button with a macro or using something like click. It's a must-have for making the game easier and nice to play. So, real cool. Another great one is Simulation Craft. If you're a DPS player who wants to, uh, well, sim their gear with raid bots, then you'd get this out on, you type in slash sim C, and this will give you a big bit of text to paste into raid bots, and there you go. Job done, easy as that. 
Next, Details is the best option for damage meters right now. It has the most accurate logging, it has the most customization, and the best feature set of them all. It is great. You can really dig deep and just see a crazy amount of stuff there, but at a very basic level, it is brilliant. Next, Leatrix Plus is just an awesome all-rounder that's full of great tweaks. It features things like extremely fast loot, auto-progressing dialogue, quests, skipping cutscenes, things like that. Basically, it's a bunch of handy tweaks, so I would recommend installing Leatrix Plus and then just taking a gander through its menus to see what its options are and basically which ones you would like to use in your game. Next, if you're not a fan of LVUI's default bags or the add-on Baganon, then Addy Bags is a great alternative for bags and it takes a different approach. It basically has a set of default filters that provides a balance between the sort of all-in-one really big bag that merges all your characters' bags together, um, and then having some categorization so that your bags actually can feel sorted without any effort put in on your end. It's actually the one that I prefer personally. Shadowlands' mission table is very different from the ones that we've seen before. And sadly, we've actually found that none of the add-ons that we use have automated it yet. But that said, Garrison Mission Manager apparently does have functionality planned, but it's not ready yet. So that's one to keep an eye out for. Another one is Immersion. So the developer of Console Port, who we worked with on WoW Tales years ago, made Immersion. And basically, it's just to give WoW, basically, more immersive dialogue, more immersive, you know, quest frames and things like that. I really like it, I personally use it, so consider giving it a shot. Then our last general recommendation, with a caveat, is Dialogue Key. This actually allows you to use the number keys to select dialogue options and uh, a keybind, by default space, to hit UI prompts instead of having to click them. So you know all those pesky, are you sure, pop-ups? Well, yeah, they're a lot less pesky, if you can just hit the space bar to go through them. So if you're replacing enchants, deleting items, or doing heavy questing, then we think that this is a great add-on. Now the caveat is that it is actually not officially supported for Shadowlands. It is actually usable via a user edit that does work perfectly, but it might not see regular updates. Next up, world content. World quests are back in Shadowlands, so you owe it to yourself to track those world quests effectively. Now there's a bunch of add-ons. There is World Quest List, World Quest Tab, World Quest Tracker, and Angry World Quests. They've all got their own style of doing it, but they basically all offer much the same feature set. Map icons, overlays, lists you can uh, basically look at at a glance, sorting and filtering based on rewards, and a bunch more. Now, my favorite is Angry World Quests, but sadly it's, uh, well, the only working version for Shadowlands is a user's one-off fix, so I would avoid that for now. The one that is the best looking and currently is supported, though, is World Quest Tab, so we would suggest you roll with that one, at least initially. One of the best add-ons, then, that has appeared during BFA was, in fact, Tom Cat's Tours. It is great. If you need to see and track a rare or a treasure, Tom Cat's got you covered. It's done things like BFA's many rare heavy zones, as well as things like holiday-specific, you know, map icons, put that all together. And it's just a 10 out of 10 addition to the game. It's great. It's actually extremely useful right now in pre-patch for tracking the Ice Crown rares, where it actually shows, uh, well, it tracks uh, every boss, it shows their spawn time and the important loot that you can get. So it's a great add-on. We wholeheartedly recommend it. Rare Scanner, that's another one. Guess what? It does exactly that. It scans for rares. So if it spots a rare on your mini-map, well, it just pings you. Really handy. Now, like Tomcats, it does show those rares on your map, and it lets you track your progress on those rares as well. The importance, uh, then, of tracking events and rares is something that is going to continue in Shadowlands, this time in a zone called the Maw, that you'll be doing a bunch in Endgame. So expect both of these add-ons to support the Maw either at the launch of Shadowlands or shortly after. Next, we basically get a new minimap button for every single add-on that we install, right? And it can be a total nightmare. Well, MBB, minimap button bag, puts them into a pop-out menu. Really handy, solves that problem, simple, beautiful, we recommend it. Next, Auto Track Map Pin. This is an add-on with a very much a does what it says on the tin name where it will automatically track map pins that are created instead of you having to uh, click them manually. 
It's a simple tweak that is really, really handy in Shadowlands, so big thumb up there. It's one that actually goes great with our next pick, which is Unlimited Map Pin Distance. This solves the problem where, and this is a bit weird, but tracked map pins do not show by default if they're over a thousand yards away. This add-on fixes this so that yes, you can follow a pin to the other side of a continent if you really need to. It's time for dungeons. Mythic Plus gameplay doesn't need that many add-ons, but what is available can actually help out greatly. So first, right, there is Mythic Dungeon Tools. It is it's great. Uh, shared routes, mob positions and patrols, detailed enemy information, and maps. It's all there. It's an incredible tool, and now is a great time to grab it and learn it. It's awesome. Now, for displaying just a little more info on the key and your dungeon's current progress, you actually have got some choice in add-ons. There is Mythic Plus Timer, there's Gotta Go Fast, and there's Angry Keystones, all of which are great. Gotta Go Fast is a very simple looking version with some customization, but Angry Keystones has, uh, well, basically it's just got a few more features and it is a good bit more popular. It's one that we would also recommend. Okay, Raider.io, it needs no introduction and it has an add-on. The Mythic Plus scene is somewhere where Raider.io score is a rough measurement of how experienced a character is in Mythic Plus. Obviously, this is a controversial thing, like with gear score, but it's the reality that we live in, so it's worth having at least install it to track your own score. Next, Astral Keys is a keystone tracker for your guild and your friends. So if anyone has got this installed, then you can see what keys they have this week. And that's something that's very useful for, as an example, targeting your best pieces of loot in Shadowlands, now that of course loot is a lot less crazy and you literally can go and target your bis. Okay, veering into the realm of weak auras, we're gonna go deep. There's a few that I massively suggest. There is the Shadowlands Dungeon Weak Aura set by, I'm just gonna call him Jod, but he's done an awesome job. Uh, this will display the most important mechanic that you have to deal with right now. These kinds of Weak Auras, they've really been around, I think, since I was taking off in Legion, but it's just so good to just have a button that says, hey, dickhead, pay attention to this. Pretty cool and good for a dumbass like me. The other suggestion we have is Zen Tracker, which is basically a backend tracker made in weak ores to hold information for party and raid cooldown info. So you get that, and then front ends, like uh, as an example, Noggy's Interrupt Tracker, well, they take information from it and then display it nicely. So if you get Zen Tracker and then Noggy's Interrupt Tracker as the front end, it's a really, really fantastic solution for keeping track of who has an interrupt up. And uh, yeah, it's a very customizable thing as well if you've got some basic knowledge of weak ores. So a big thumbs up for that. Then another that I would recommend is Little Wigs. Basically, what Big Wigs does for raids, Little Wigs does for dungeons. So pretty damn handy to have. Time for raids where we've got to start off with two major and fairly obvious recommendations. Those are DBM, Deadly Boss Mods, and Big Wigs. These basically both do the same thing. They give you your boss timers, your boss information. Now you can make them look way better through a weak aura. This weak aura is called Raid Ability Timeline. It disables boss mod bars and it instead shows that information on a scrolling timeline. So you can actually see them visualized on a timeline. It's a great way of displaying that information and one that, uh, yeah, we really do recommend for you. Another one is Exorcist Raid Tools. It's an extremely powerful collection of stuff for raids. Essentially, it's just a complete kit of tools for raid leaders and raid assistants. And it's also quite useful for regular raiders to have. So it is also a big recommendation. Then, like with dungeons, you can, of course, also use the Zen Tracker uh, Weak Aura for raids. For that, just simply pick, you know, if you want icons, bars, or text, import uh, whatever front end you want, and there you go. You can track your ally cooldowns and things like that. Now, also, there are usually Weak Auras for each raid tier that are very simple and basically just tell you, you know, exactly what, you, uh, exactly what to do when you need to do it. One that we've seen that looks quite good is the Nathria set by... Causess, I think, but whatever, that one looks pretty great. And of course, like with everything, it's linked below. 
Next up, a few quick PvP recommendations. So, Arena Team Tracker will let you see important ally abilities and it should actually attach to whatever unit frame add-on you're using, so it's pretty sweet. There's also Omnibar or Nameplate cooldowns, which will let you track the cooldowns of important enemy abilities, which is obviously very useful in PvP. Then, if you are somebody who's using the Blizzard default frames, I think it's worth picking up either Gladius or S Arena. They basically just both do a better job of tracking enemy status than the default ones from Blizzard. Next up, some picks for the more general chilled back sort of cosmetic content. So, all the things tracks all the things. It lets you know, out of all the things, how many things do you have in your character? So if you want to go be a completionist, essential. Then Rarity will track all of your attempts to earn rare items, and it will add that information to tooltips. Then, Better Wardrobe and Transmog, oh it's great, it massively improves the appearance and transmog functionality of World of Warcraft. It adds sets that are not treated as sets by World of Warcraft, it adds unlimited outfits, there's a randomizer for outfits which can be kind of wacky, and a whole bunch more. We recommend it. Saved instances then is great for tracking basically stuff that is saved on each of your characters. That could be instances, bosses, trade skills, etc. Any of those, you know, weekly cooldowns for your character, it tracks them. Then for pet battles, a few quick ones. Rematch is great. It adds team saving, auto selecting for teams, uh, for specific opponents. It adds pet filtering and a whole bunch more functionality. It's really, really good. There is then also derangements, pet battle cooldowns, which is uh, fairly explanatory. There is battle UI tweaks and then even TD scripts and ultra squirt, which make farming repeated battles a bit less tedious. I'll be real, pet battles aren't our thing, but uh, we believe that these are the core ones that you should be aware of. Then time for professions. So, Trade Skill Master, or TSM, needs a little explanation. If you're playing the economy of World of Warcraft to a really big scale, you want to be a big goblin, you just have to go learn TSM. It packs a ginormous amount of features to help you play those markets and make millions. And there's loads of tutorials out there, but it is pretty deep and complex. Auctionator, then, is what we would recommend for casual auction house users. If you just want to buy and sell stuff pretty effectively, it's a great lightweight add-on that adds just enough functionality to um, just improve the base experience a bit. Then next, Undermine Journal. They do have an add-on. Also, the site's pretty useful too, but it's great for just knowing what the going rate is for whatever items you want to check, so real handy. Then for the gatherers, TomTom and GatherMate are fantastic, with GatherMate adding tracking details of nodes so that you can pick a route to gather along really effectively. Oh boy, there we go. That's a lot of add-ons in what, I don't know, 20 minutes of video. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch there. Just take a look at this video, you know, pick the ones that you actually think are pretty cool. You know, you don't want to get add-on bloat by blindly installing everything we suggest, but there's just some in here that, you know, they'll really help you out um, just with your day-to-day -day goings on in Azeroth. Mm, that sounds pretty sweet to me. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want an add-on for your internet experience, today's sponsor, Dashlane, is one that I use every single day and we use on the teams. Pretty damn awesome. So you can check them out down below as well. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.